Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Wilhelm Scream, and welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and Into the Light slash the Final Shape Prep Intel. And today, once again, is Friday, so we have our Friday weekly update. Zur has returned, as well as Trials of Osiris this week. So I'll give you a brief rundown on those two things, as well as all the other farms, glitches, cheeses that you can use heading into the weekend. If you haven't had a chance to play very much at all this week, and there are some great ones regarding Pantheon, as well as some free exotics. Some other things you're probably going to want to take advantage of while they're around. To start off, Zer can be found today in the Watcher's Grave over on Nessus in the Big Tree. If you don't know exactly where that is, just warp in there. And today he is selling for the exotic weapon. We have the Arbalist. Pick it up if you don't have it. Comes in very handy in endgame activities like GMs just because of its intrinsic perk against barrier champions. It's just a good go-to to have. It's also good for boss damage and things like Oryx. If you're looking for a primary to combo with a, a heavy linear fusion, you can swap off and do a good bit of damage, or at least you used to be able to. Whisper of the Worm might be just over-the-top good at the moment. But in any case, good to have in your arsenal. We have the... Raiju's Harness for the Hunter class, hopefully I said that correctly, with a 62 roll, very low. Decent stat distribution, allows for early deactivation of Arc Staff, so if you are using your super, you can preserve your super by having this exotic equipped, if you're Arc Staff, of course. But, yeah, not something I find people using all that much, and with a 62... Unless you don't have it, maybe you can skip it. We have the Aeon's Safe for the Titan class with a 68 roll, very high. Mobility is kind of wasted, but not a bad stat distribution overall. Maybe not the best as far as intellect is concerned. That's also a little bit wasted, but not a terrible amount of strength and resilience. So you could build into this. 68 is just a high roll, so... Again, if you don't have this exotic, you could do worse. And then we have the Stag for the Warlocks with a 65 roll, very high recovery and discipline stat distribution. I actually really like this roll. Could be higher, but recovery and discipline are two of the stats that I look for the most, along with resilience. So as far as exotics go this week from Zer, maybe give him a... B minus, maybe a B. Rolls aren't terribly high, not as good as last week, and though the stat distribution is slightly better, um, I would have loved to have seen this have been, if this had been like a 68, the stag, I think it would have been uh, a definite pickup. But now on to legendary weapons. Also, let me know if you buy any of these in the comment section down below, or if you go f for a random exotic Ingram. Legendary weapons, we have the True Prophecy Hand Cannon with Rangefinder and Rampage. We have a Shepherd's Watch Sniper Rifle with Outlaw and Osmosis. We have a Legal Action with Feeding Frenzy and Rampage. I actually really like this for PvP. We have the Decide with Surplus and Elemental Capacitor. We have the Aquilos Sniper Rifle with Overflow, Elemental Capacitor, and Rasputin's Arsenal, Deep State Activation Weapon. We have a Fallen Guillotine with Enduring Guard, Relentless Strike, and Counter Attack. Not a bad Fallen Guillotine. And I find that uh, swords are actually pretty good at the moment, especially for zero hour, for those first two waves of enemies. You can just sort of hack and slash your way through. Save a lot of time. And then we have a Memory Intradeck with... Clown Cartridge and distri Disruption Break, excuse me. Uh, maybe a decent roll on this grenade launcher. As far as legendary weapons go, kind of uh, in short supply, I think, for really major pickups. The legal action is, I would say, very good for PvP, especially if you're looking for a good pulse rifle in that 340 spot. I wouldn't say there's really a better one, but... Now, on to Legendary Armor. We have the Glitched Armor set this week for all three classes, if you don't know what I'm talking about. All of these 
pieces of armor are supposed to be at least a 55 stat roll, really a 58 stat roll. Anything other than that, I think, at this point in the game is just, you know, old vendor kind of stuff, Devrim K kind of stuff. And Zer's not supposed to do that, but he did. Did it again. So unless you're looking for just the ornaments from these pieces of armor, I'm not sure if they're really anything to look at, but let's take a look at the headpiece really quick. Uh, it's not terrible. Kind of looks like... Um, a little bit of halo armor in some ways. No real point in picking up any of these pieces because though they are supposed to be updated, these ones have slipped through the cracks and are not, and the stat distributions are in the 40s in some cases. Let me know in the comments section down below if there was one piece of armor that you actually liked the look of. And then over on the exotic weapons page, we have our Hawkmoon with textured grip. And quick draw. Remember to pick up your exotic cipher if you don't have it. Or at least fill out your exotic ciphers. You can hold up to five, I believe, now. And that is going to be it for Xur today. We're now going to make our way over to the tower. Check out what Saint-14 has for Adept Weapons. This week's Trials map is also the new Trials map. Um, Evertide Ruin, or the one based off of Evertide Ruin. I'm not sure if it's called Evertide Ruin or like Evertide Complex or something like that, but um, the new map, and I actually like that new map. It's a lot of different levels to it. I think it's a reskin of an old D2 map that was taken out of the game maybe like two or three years ago, but don't quote me on that. But good luck. I actually, like I said, really found it fun playing on that map, especially of the new or the three new maps that we got. Maybe it'll be a little bit of an equalizer since it is new, so people who don't play PvP that often or maybe play it sort of casually might not have um, as much of a disadvantage just because there hasn't been as much time to play those new maps. I don't know. I don't think it's really going to work out that way, guys. I'm sorry. You know that the guys who play PvP all the time, they know that map in and out already, but... I like to be optimistic for you casual players who are just looking for some free trials loot or easy trials loot or maybe an adept. And if you want to know more about how to get some free trials loot without actually having to play trials, I have covered it in the past, but let me know in the comments section down below or if you are planning on playing trials this week. Before we head over to Saint-14, we'll cover a couple of things just in the courtyard area. One, for this week's Nightfall loot. And it is, I think, double rank rewards this week for Nightfalls, as well as double loot. We have the Slammer Adept, and I actually really like this sword, as I was saying before. It was really uh, paying dividends in the Zero Hour mission when it came to time for those first two rooms of ads, because you could just get through them really quick. This is the role that I have on mine. I was using a Fallen Guillotine as well, but this is my Slammer with uh, Relentless Strike, Bait and Switch. Hasn't done me wrong so far. This week's Nightfall is also the PsyOps Battlegrounds Cosmodrone, which I know is not anybody's favorite. This is actually quite a difficult one. Just a lot of ads lot of things to kill and a very tight space so sword might actually come in handy but if you're looking for a good slammer now's the time to go and farm it out over at banshee 44 just cover his loot really quick and remember that all of this stuff will rotate seven hours after the daily reset timer so seven hours after Zur and trials appeared we have a whispering slab with Rangefinder and Vorpal Weapon. We have a Timeless Vertex with Field Prep and Demolitionist. We have the Awstringer with Air Assault, Demolitionist, and 2 Excess, Deep Sight Activation Weapon. Also pretty good for PvP. We have a Peace of Mind with Auto Loading Holster, Harmony, and Land Tank, another Deep Sight Activation Weapon. And then we have a Palarma B with Auto Loading Holster, Frenzy, and uh, hockey breach armaments. This might actually be decent in uh, PvE at the moment. Let's 
good to always have a stasis rocket launcher around just in case. Also remember that occasionally this loot will have a bugged piece of loot that when you buy it and delete it, it will always give you an enhancement core. I'm not really sure if any of these at the moment are doing that, but it's worth a try any given day um, just to because you get the daily rotation to give it a try. If you're looking to stock up on enhancement cores, as everybody knows, legendary shards will be disappearing in the final shape. So exchange one for the other, though I always say keep a few legendary shards just around because you never know what Bungie's going to do. And maybe turning them all in for enhancement cores is a waste in itself just because, who knows, maybe enhancement cores will also be disappearing at some time in the future. You never know. You know, the last time I recommended doing that, they didn't, or they decided to not get rid of them for like another year. So, you know, just check it out when you uh, are thinking about it. For same 14 loot, we have the Adept weapon, the Messenger. I think it's pretty sought after for PvP. I also think it has a few good PvE rolls, but one of the better uh, Adept weapons available from same 14. And we haven't had a trials week and I think three weeks two or three weeks I think it was three weeks almost a month and uh, or exactly a month yes exactly a month since we've had trials of Osiris so I think everybody's excited to get back to it especially on the new maps remember it's worth playing some trials just to get the incisor trace rifle if you don't have one because it is such a good weapon to have for strand builds and if you want to know about how to get one for free in trials again and let me know in the comment section down below. Another news around the directory really quick. Over on Neptune for the daily legendary loss sector, we have the Thrall Adrome with uh, exotic arms available. So if you're looking for a good pair of exotic arms, this is not a great legendary loss sector to farm, but if you've been storing them up in your Postmaster, using the exotic Postmaster glitch that allows you to store the loot, the would-be loot, from a Legendary Lost Sector in your Postmaster as an exotic Ingram, so long as you have an inventory full of Ingrams on your person. You can then take those out of the Postmaster today and they will decrypt into exotic arms. Remember, you can farm on any given day and then take them out of your Postmaster to decrypt on a different day, any other different day, to get that day's loot. I like to explain this every week because I always get people asking, could you explain that again? Does it still work? Yes, still works. The other big thing, of course, we had the third week of Pantheon this week. So if you're looking for any one of those raid exotics, there's now more added. And this week's boss was Rolk. And there is an incredible glitch for Rolk that allows you to essentially yeet them off the ledge or allowed them to yeet themselves off the ledge so long as you're standing in the right spot at the beginning of damage phase. I made a video about it um, yesterday or released it yesterday. So if you're looking for more information about that, if you're going for Pantheon or any one of those raid exotics that are now available through Pantheon, you can go and check it out. And then this week we had the zero hour mission added to our exotic uh, mission page that with the Whisper making their long overdue return, this one especially, because this was probably my favorite exotic mission um, of all of them, ever. So I'm certainly very excited to have it back. Hopefully everybody was able to go out and get their outbreak perfected this week. If you're looking for the Catalyst, if you've never gotten one before, and you're looking for a tutorial on the entirety for Legend and Normal and uh, how to get the Catalyst, you can look at my previous video, and I will have another video coming out about the Catalyst. Big shout out to Sinister for helping me out with that, coming out probably over the weekend if people are looking for it. But I did upload a video on the Outbreak mission itself for Normal as well as Legend and how you could actually get um, the Outbreak Perfected Pulse Rifle, Zero Hour mission, Outbreak Perfected mission, synonymous with each other, just in case people are getting confused. And that is going to be it for all the information in today's video. Hopefully you found something in this video helpful. 
Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on the bell to post notifications so you never miss out on any future Destiny 2 Into the Light or Final Shape content like this. If you've watched till this point in the video, you can leave a hashtag Xur or a hashtag Into the Light or a hashtag Trials of Osiris or a hashtag Pantheon or a hashtag Final Shape or any one of the comments I asked you to leave in the comment section down below for another entry into the next giveaway on this YouTube channel. Remember, we do one every 1,000 subscribers, so you never want to miss out. And of course, when we reach 100,000 subscribers, we'll be giving away an Xbox Series X or a video card if you play on PC. Hope everybody has a great weekend farming out the things that you want to do. There's plenty to do, so something for everybody. And of course, we will see you next time.